Hey guys, my name is Elio. Welcome back to class. Today, we're going to be going over how to properly adjust your gas valve on your MDRX rifle. One of the benefits the MDRX brings to your shooting bench is the adjustable pure flow gas system. Since it's been an issue in the past for some folks, today we're going to be going over how to properly adjust the gas system on your MDRX and MDR rifles. The gas valve has six different settings. Some of the different revisions are labeled in different ways, but they all basically go from smallest gas flow to the greatest gas flow. Except the 300 Blackout that has settings for both sub and supersonic. Typically, the lowest two settings are for suppressed shooting. The middle two are for regular shooting conditions, and the highest two are for adverse or fouled conditions. That said, we should run the gun on the gas settings that properly functions the rifle. Due to the vast differences between ammunitions, suppressors, and other muzzle devices, it can be necessary to adjust the gas differently than anticipated. For example, if you use one of the more modern flow-through type suppressors, then you will probably experience problems if you run the rifle on one of the traditional suppressed gas settings like one or two. All MDRX rifles are test fired at our factory and they are shipped with the gas set to the optimal position where it functions properly. On occasion, after changing or customizing parts on the rifle, that may need to be adjusted. Make sure your gas valve is set to an actual gas setting rather than the installation point Otherwise, when you shoot your first round, the gas valve will shoot right out with the round. We've had a lot of guys do this, don't be that guy. We typically tell customers to set the gas to the lowest setting that will reliably run the rifle. That may be either the third or fourth setting on the rifle in its stock configuration. After you have altered your MDRX rifle by adding a different muzzle device, suppressor, or other significant alteration, you may need to adjust the stock setting. I would recommend you start from the lowest setting and go up one setting at a time until the rifle reliably functions. If you're experiencing malfunctions, it may be because of too low a gas setting. Typical malfunctions for undergassed forward eject rifles are jams in the ejection chute, double feeds, and heavy brass damage, as well as failure to lock back on an empty magazine. Side eject rifles experience similar failures like stove pipes of spent rounds, double feeds, and failure to lock back on an empty magazine. If you experience these malfunctions, increase the gas setting one position at a time until malfunctions cease. Depending on your configuration, that might be any one of the six positions. If your gun is new, you may find that as the gun wears in, you might even be able to drop it one setting for even smoother operation. If you do have problems, please feel free to reach out to our customer service department or our warranty department and we'll help you guys out. As always, if you guys have any questions about gas valve adjustment, feel free to comment below or reach out for further assistance. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.